I think I found the honey hole. Don't go back in the... Oh! Sometimes when plans don't work out like you want it to, you just gotta change them and make do. So folks, our original plan was to head into the cabin lot, do some burning of the brush that I had in there, and uh, do a bit of trout and whatnot, because I've never trouted in that pond in the winter time. I've done a lot of fishing in the summertime, but this would have been the first day in the winter. But anyway, we got in there and uh, it was blowing a gale. It don't seem like it here because we're down the hole. Uh, and not only that, there was a crowd in there. So I'm guessing by the crowd, it's a good spot in the winter time. So we changed our plans. We come out to a, another pond that I'm quite familiar with. I grew up in this pond and uh, it's a good pond, the trout's not overly big, but they're pan size and they're good eating. So we're gonna drill a couple holes, get a fire going, and have a bite to eat. Join us for the day. Perfect. Good enough for the pan. Yeah. yeah. Someone got some luck. Dandy little one. Nice colors. Be purdy. Caught on the new flan spinner. Boy, that's the spinner. I'm already too ahead of you. Oh. I'm not sure what this tool is rated for, but uh, I'm going to test the root. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Missy down the road fish me, two to nothing. Turned out to be a, a decent day other than the wind. You got the two troop, but I knew where to drill the whole way. As a matter of fact, I made you move. <laughs> you flew. Got one, boys. Oh. There she be. Oh, he's only a small one. We'll let that one go. We'll see you next year, little buddy. We only got three sticks out. Two for me, one for her, because she has all she needs. Let's see what we got. Nada. Someone in cutting wood by the sounds of it. I'm not quite sure what's on the menu for today. Missy says it's a surprise. I do know there's a couple of trout involved. Well, I can't wait now. I'm a bit hungry myself. Man, what a day. Oh, oh, oh hear that ice crack? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a small one. Probably. 
Little tiny one, boys. We'll let that one go. See you, dude. Oh, he's bleeding. There we go. There we go. Another small one. <laughs> you must have all the big ones over there. You got to go back in the hole. So it's time to get a fire going. The wind is up a bit. We're gonna to try to get her sheltered in here pretty good. I cut a stick out of the way on the way in, so I'm gonna go grab that for firewood. Dying for a tea, you know. Ooh, slippery. There we go. Half dry juniper. Makes for good burning that though. I brought in the quick wick. I enjoy using this sometimes, a lot of the times. I like starting fires other ways too, as anyone who watches my content knows. But uh, sometimes it's just makes it a lot easier. Throw the wood on and have a fire. Ball the kettle. Hopefully the wind, the wind is swirling around. So sometimes it'll be in here, other times it's blowing over us. Starved. Well, even though this morning uh, started out a bit rough, there's no such thing as a bad day in the woods. All right, folks, while I wait for this to burn, we're gonna go out and see if I got anything on the sticks. It was a good thing she brought something to eat today. We'd be starved to death on those two trout, why? Right? <laughs> in other words, I'd be starved to death. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yep. 
I'd probably be staring at this. She's raging. Nothing left. We're gonna to have to fix that. Fresh worm on. Let's see what we got. Have a look in there. Fire's going good. Look at it. There we go. Ah, I got one on you. Now, folks, like I said, they're not enormous, seven inches or so, but they're damn fine eating. Let's see if we can't get a couple more before I put that pot on. I think Missy's a little chilly. So she's in next to that quick, quick fire. So folks, this pond here, my grandfather used to bring them here in tractor. Now, back then he used to come here, no bait, no nothing, it didn't matter, and you'd get your limit. Like I said, pan sized trout, nothing huge, but really good eating. Now it's not so much, you don't get so many, but it still is a good spot to come, bring some kids, and have a fun day of it. A lot of memories on this pond. I don't know if you can hear that ice cracking either. That's flavor. What's the matter? He's gonna be some good now. So Missy's intending the fire. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head right to the center of the pond. I'm gonna drill a hole. Try my located there. So we have had an absolute I'm gonna say horrible winter. We've had snow, rain, snow, rain, snow, rain, cold, warm, cold, warm. And I'd say today is going to be our last day out. It's calling for, I think, uh, 20 to 30 millimeters rain tomorrow and 9 degrees. So hopefully we get a few more days, but I'm ready for the canoe weather now. I'm ready to break out the canoe and tent and backpack and all that stuff. Well, folks, the middle of the pond paid off a bit bigger. Oh, honey hole, honey hole. <coughs> I think I found the honey hole. Don't go back in the... Oh! <laughs> well, shit. Had to catch that one again. Oh. <laughs> Blooper reel for sure. Oh my, oh my, oh my, what a tangle. See, this is why he explores around the pond. So you can see where all the spots are too. Have to go get some more worms. There's not very much water here. 
Not at all. Not at all. Well, boys, I don't even think the camera's straight. That's better. Got them all scared away with that fiasco. Oh well, boys, I'm gonna leave that one trooping for me. Time to go in and have a ball up. Dandy, dandy little truth. And I can taste them now. Right over that open fire. Oh, you can't beat that. Let's see what you got on the go. How's you now? Oh, look at that. Huh? Look at that cup of tea, though. That's going to be something good. Oh, you sure been out there? Oh, well, let's just see. I got it on video, so. Okay. Mm. And? Thank you. Let's go through them. Start with it. I'm getting first to dog in a little tiny bit, so let's put the grate on because I don't want to burn the food. I hate when in. Better if it's coals or. Their boots, I would think. I got an arthritis in. Did you? <laughs> I did. I got something way different this time. The mm -hmm. roll up. Hmm? Man, that's some nice. Tea is good. Don't he is always going to work. wants to win this day a certain way. Oh no. <laughs> you do know your new flame, right? Yes. Well, I'll probably block too much with this way. No, it's all blowing at me that way. Watch me break this now. So I have no idea what's on the menu for today. This is all I heard today. Oh, you found my good knife. Oh. I told you I found that. My cotton board? I, I do, to... yeah. You do know I got a cotton board in my backpack. He, right? He's over there, but I was then one take it out. So. Trying the day's cotton fingers. And I'm also throwing onions in the fire. That's all right. It's for flavoring. Flavoring, yeah. Yeah, extra flavor. For smoking. Yeah. The only problem is I got smoke in my eyes and I'm starting to cry. What's going on? It looks like we're going to get that rain shortly. Shortly, yeah, I noticed that. The skies are looking pretty, uh, pretty, uh... You can trust the weather in Newfoundland. Like you can trust the fart after a bout of diarrhea. <laughs> pretty much same thing. <laughs> I still don't know what you're making. Nope. You're not going to know either. So you'll probably get a general idea in that one. I see some good gear though. Like, you know, you got peppers and asparagus and onions. Start, right? Where do you start again? I'm going to have no fingers now shortly. I might be ruining this. Ruin 
no way you can ruin it. No, I think I may be ruining your color. Oh. <laughs> Make star fry. That's a Tupperware cover, so it don't matter because you can never find the piece that goes with it anyway. This is true. <laughs> Well, I'm starved. You eat them on the side. You might need to be the stir guy in that end. Okay. Because this is very time consuming it seemed. Oh, this works way better in my head than I am right now. <laughs> well, you weren't getting smoke in your eyes either. You know what? If I could have got up that way, it might have been better. Then again, the smoke would have followed me up here. 100%. Good knife, eh? Really good for uh, paint some moose. Ah, that far is some nice. Even though it's not a cold day, it's something with the warmth of a fire. Well, I'm taking a run into the honey hole again. I was already at once. Got another one. So now I'm three on her. She's cooking though. Let's see. Last one was on there. So lucky. Let's head her back in and see what she got cooked. I'm starved too. Oh, I just felt rain. Oh boy, oh boy. It is too, it's raining. I guess we're gonna get wet while we're eating. The forecast wouldn't call for rain until the night, but. You know something? <laughs> no. One time I never. <laughs> so what's we got on the go here? Oh, now I know what you're cooking. I'm cooking. Fajitas? Chicken? Yeah. Chicken quesadillas. Chicken quesadillas. Mm -hmm. Only one problem. Ma. They're probably going to burn. Nah. And it's raining. Yeah, I know. I only got one issue with this. Chicken quesadillas. Not your usual new flan meal in the woods, but... Good. I can steal one of these, eh? Putting it in the right spot <laughs> today. Never know. Seems we're gonna have to eat and run. <laughs> yeah. The only issue I got with this, dear. It's flipping it over. <laughs> I have a spatula there. It might work. I usually use these tongs. Well, it's already the only tongs the guys are the ones I'm wearing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're so funny. Wouldn't that be a sight for sore eyes? Oh, God, you're so funny. Smoke's going right at you. Oh, I'll be pickled. What? I'll be well pickled. <laughs> yeah. Well, just like that, Nella. It's a hard to even get it to warm up. Ain't the rain stopped? No, it's not. I can feel it. It's like a mist. Over one of 
Super cute. Quasadillas. Is that what it is? Quasadillas is what Rev Day calls them. Quesadillas, I call them. Rev Day calls them uh, quasadillas. I think it is. Quasadillas. I think that's what he calls them, yep. That quesadillas, mommy says it's quasadillas. Oh, I'd say this one's gonna be yours. I think the funnel is coming up this way. <laughs> you think? Close it. Good. Delicious, actually. Okay. This well, how many more people coming to the party? Why? <laughs> well, there's two more there. There's another one here. I'm eating one. I'm eating two myself. I haven't had no meat all day, boy. I could probably eat those two trunks this after two that I caught. Third. This is not working out. Here. Oh, there you go. Get a fire going on there. Good or what? Mm. Delicious. Mm. Yeah, that one there was had a lot, had the extra cheese. Really? Uh huh. I might have to walk back. <laughs> it was a fantastic ball up, fantastic day. I think uh, due to the impending rain. Did I catch the biggest trout? No. Lies. And you never caught the most trout either. You lies. How many did you catch? How many did you catch and keep? Now, I would have kept one more, but I almost had to go for a swim for it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to see that on the video later. <laughs> so it was a great day out in the woods. We're going to have to cut it a bit short. I was hoping to cook up those trout. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to put the kettle on now and go and see if we get another one or two. Okay, so you know I had to get me a cup of tea and come back out and try again. That's a fantastic fire. That's a good fire. The rain, the rain is that real? Yeah. Hopefully we get home before a downpour is eh? Let's hope. Well anyways folks, we're gonna cut this trip a little short before I get kind of on fire here. Uh, oh my god, wait. Oh, there it is too. Look. <laughs> we had a fantastic day. Uh, it started off a bit rough, like I said, but uh, no, this was perfect. We got some trout. It was a good day. We got some trout. We had a fine feed. Had a dandy fire. You beat me this all out. <laughs> that happens every now and then. Uh, once in a while. We're going to pack everything up now. We were going to cook the trout, but uh, we're going to try to get out before we get soaking wet. Thanks for following along, and thanks to anyone who subscribes or likes my channel. You guys are awesome. Until next time, guys, you guys keep straying on her. Thanks for watching.